video, I'm gonna continue with my shadow boxing series. And I know all of you are at home and you're looking for things to work on because the gyms are closed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys patterns and I'm gonna try to bust out a lot more of these and get them out so you guys can practice. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make them a little shorter and I'm not gonna go in as much detail as I usually do. And that's what my instructional videos are for. Worldclassboxinggym.com, you can got, get nine different punches and I break down all the punches in detail and their footwork. So get those and it's gonna really help you with these drills to put these punches together and it's gonna and it's gonna make you be able to amplify your your skill level while you practice these drills. Okay, these drills are gonna be for creating imagination, ring IQ, okay, and rhythm. And why rhythm is so important, I'm gonna go into those details in some other videos as well and some other instructional videos that I do. But right now we're gonna just do patterns, okay? So here we're gonna go the first pattern today, with a pattern today, and I'm gonna give you some bonuses at the end that you can add to this first pattern. First pattern is gonna be a seven punch combination with built-in head movement, okay? So we're gonna throw, we're gonna start off, we're gonna throw a jab, then we're gonna throw a right hand, we're gonna throw a hook, uppercut, so that's four punches. Then back with the jab, back with the right hand, left hook to the body, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see the rhythm of it, okay? So we're just flowing and we're taking our head out of the way. So when I throw a jab, I throw a right hand. When I throw a hook, my head's gonna move a little bit over and I'm dropping myself in position, okay? I'm taking my, when I drop my shoulder down, it takes me to my uppercut. I don't have to drop my hand to throw my uppercut. My uppercut's right there, I'm one eye on the punch, okay? Now I'm gonna come back with a one, two, hook to the body, one, two, hook, okay? Brings me back to the uppercut again. Uppercut, one, two, hook to the body, one, two, hook, uppercut, one, two, hook to the body, one, two, hook, Uppercut, one, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook. Uppercut, one, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook. Uppercut, one, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook. Uppercut, one, two, hook. See what I do? I, when I throw one, two, hook, my, my three brings me to my four. And I'm in position, when I always talk about the shoulder plane, it's got me in position to throw that uppercut. I'm not up here and have to drop down to throw it, okay? Um, I got myself in that hip hinge and I throw one, two, hook, my three brings me to my four, okay? Now from there I come back with another jab, another right hand, then I take my head over to throw the hook to the body. Now I can take my head over when I throw the right hand so it looks like this, one, two, hook, uppercut, one, two, hook to the body, one, two, hook, Uppercut, one, two, set my head over when I throw in the right hand, takes my head out of the way, it's built in head movement. Uppercut, or hook to the body, I'm sorry. One, two, hook, uppercut, one, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook, uppercut, one, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook, uppercut, one, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook, uppercut, one, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook. Okay, so when you guys get that down, now I'll give you the bonus. You can add a little bit something to it. Okay, so you can throw seven punches, that's seven punches. I'll do it one more time, then I'm gonna show you the bonus. And so we'll show you the little bit of the flow of the drill if you're just watching the rhythm of the drill. After I threw that last, after I threw, after I threw my last one, after I threw a one-two hook, instead of me going back into the uppercut, I went back into a weave and a hook right hand and a weave and a right hand hook. In other words, one-two hook, uppercut, one-two, hook to the body, one-two hook, hook right hand, right hand hook. So we do it again, one-two hook, 
Uppercut, one, two, hook to the body, one, two, hook. Hook right hand, right hand hook. Okay, so we're, that's what we're doing there. Like I said, we can add to it. We can go one, two, hook, uppercut, one, two, hook to the body, one, two, hook. Instead of bringing myself to, back to the uppercut, I can imagine a guy's throwing a right hand and I'm gonna weave underneath, hook, right hand. Throws the left hook at me, underneath, right hand, left hook, okay? So, I can, and then I could go right back into the drill if I wanted to. So you can make yourself get in that rhythm. Rhythm is so important, okay? It's what people don't understand, what it makes you synchronize. When you're, in, when you're in rhythm, you're synchronizing your whole body into your punches. So what it does is it makes the transitions, it synchronizes everything together, offense and defense together. So you make those transitions so much smoother okay you're going to be able to go from offense to defense so much smoother because your body is in unison okay you're everything's coordinated together so you're going to flow like water okay and that's what these drills are going to help you develop is rhythm okay so like i throw one two hook uppercut one two hook to the body one two hook weave underneath hook right hand Weave underneath, right hand hook. And then I can go back into my uppercut. One, two, hook. Okay, or I'm sorry, uppercut. One, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook. Underneath, hook right hand. Underneath, right hand hook. Now it's an uppercut. One, two, hook to the body. One, two, hook. I can go uppercut. One, two, and then I can go back into the pattern again. See that? Every once in a while, I can throw a hook right hand and a right hand hook. And then I can go back into the uppercut and go back into the pattern again. It's my hook right hand. It's my right hand hook. There's my uppercut. One, two. I can do the pattern a few times, see? And get into that flow. Get into that rhythm. And see your head move. Feel your built-in head movement. See that? Boom, boom, dropping. You listen to Floyd Mayweather, it's not about dropping your hands. It's about taking your shoulder and taking that, he calls it a little squat. But it's that little, like I said, that hip hinge where you bow down and you drop that shoulder. Where you drop your shoulder at, your hand's gonna follow instead of dropping your hand. You drop your shoulder, you're in position. Now you straighten it back out. You dropped your right shoulder. You're in position to throw the uppercut. You're in position to throw the hook to the body or left uppercut or hook to the body without dropping the hand, okay? Taking it here, keeping it tight. Keep everything tight. If you listen to what he's telling, the one thing on uh, YouTube he talks about keeping things tight and how a lot of people drop and they leave themselves there to be hit and they drop their hand to throw the, throw the hook to the body and they're up high, okay? So you wanna take yourself and make yourself small, make everything tight. You're always making everything small. Wet, so you slide. Okay, step right to the heel, I'm saying, wah, wah, you know what I'm saying? You can't just shoot it and then bring it back and be like this. You gotta, and you gotta throw some squat to it. If you do like this, you up for boom, boom. So you gotta be able to squat. So right here, boom, boom, wah, everything's short. Boom, you still short. He see it, he bop, 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 he'll see it, and bop, place it down there. Slide out, anyway. Uh, short shit, short shit, nothing wide, nothing wide, everything short. And when you're in here, you're like here, short right there. And bring it right back, right there, right back. Touch it, see. And when you keep your punches tight and you synchronize everything together, because your body, your arm is just an extension of your body. So you're going to be in better control of your body to make the transitions from offense to defense. So that's another lesson for another day. But like I said, you can continue. I can give you more ads, uh, more things to even add to this pattern. I'll give you one more bonus, okay? So let's say we go one, two, hook, right uppercut, one, two, hook to the body, one, two, hook. Okay, weave under, hook right hand, weave under, right hand hook, 
Roll with a hook. Hook right hand, block a right hand. Right hand hook. Back into the uppercut, back into the pattern again. One eye on each shot helps you keep your punches tight. See, it makes you turn your whole, like I said, this is another lesson for another day, but that's gonna help you get power without having to drop your hands, okay? You can start mixing it up. See, when I give you these patterns, then you can start to do different things. Say, because you'll start to get in rhythm and feel that comfortability to be able to do other things. Say, I can do other combinations. I can do this. See that? I can do this. I can go here. There. Block. Block. Slip. Weave, weave. So that's something you guys can work on and I'll be back with another pattern as uh, soon as I can. I'm, I'm working on busting a lot of these out for you guys and I hope everybody stays safe and um, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you guys think of it. Give me some insight, some feedback on what you guys want to see and I'll see you guys next time.